And here's my Dell stuck. This is the Dell um, XPS M1530 series uh, stuck in uh, loading mode. It's just it's stuck there. So, and I just got this back today from Dell um, Depot tech support. They said there's nothing wrong with this. And uh, obviously, it's having some issues here. And uh, I'm sure after the screen, once it finished loading, it'll come up with an error again. I took, just took pictures of it a few minutes ago with uh, the issue of um, power supply. And I think you'll see in a second. It kind of happens intermittently. Um, I've done it twice in a row and it's come up. We'll see if it happens again. Hmm. Still trying. Will it come out of that? Oh, there it goes. See, this time it didn't do it. We'll try again on the next round. I'm going to send this in, uh, this video into Dell so they can see the issues I'm having. You also see the screen. I don't know if it's going to show up on the video, but you can see right along there. They said that they said there was nothing wrong. If you look at my screen here on my other Dell, you don't have that at all. Here we do. Um, I just created a test account to uh, go through some of the issues that we're having. And uh, let's see here. I want to match these up exactly so we can kind of see what, what the deal is. Both XPS machines. This is the XPS M1730. This is the M1530. This is my travel companion. It's supposed to be. It's been over a month since I've ordered it. Um, it was shipped on the 8th of October, believe it or not. Uh, I got it. Um, Two weeks later, over two weeks later, that was a whole whole um, other fiasco of just getting the product to me. And bear in mind, folks, I use Dell Dell um, computers, laptops, everything. Specifically, I've fallen in love with the XPS systems, but and I use it for my business for for everything. And uh, they were giving me such a hard time with this one laptop, so. I mean, I love this laptop, but I started taking that with me to, to shows I'm, I'm doing. I'm a vendor that does a lot of shows around the U.S. Just after a while, it kills your back and your backpack. So I ordered the uh, M1530 as its little brother. And it's great. It looks wonderful, but this particular machine has been giving me issues right out of the box. So I called them up, told them what was wrong. It has a few different things wrong with it. Um, the bio scanner doesn't work right uh, as you can see the screen has issues I even uh, gave them an error code I was getting I'm gonna try and see if I can repeat the error code for the LCD inverter uh, but you can see right there guys let's make the backgrounds the same let's go back here Probably end up putting this on YouTube so everyone can see. There we go, you can see it better now. Look at that, look at the striping. You can see the difference. This is an LED screen. I, I don't think LED screens should do that. I mean, that's horrible. If that's the normal screen, this is my first LED screen, then I'm going to ask them to replace it with a, an LCD. I've only heard good things about LED, and I don't think people would accept that. As normal and it looks like I'm looking at the camera viewfinder right now and it looks just the way I'm looking at it through my own eyes so there is no this isn't uh, any camera tricks or anything like that this isn't the lens interpreting it differently this is really how it looks to the naked eye <clears throat> okay so the 
they're both the same color background. I hit OK. Cancel out of that. And I'm going to come over here. Hit OK. Yeah, I got some games on this one. This one's a great gaming machine. <laughs> so. Alright. Let's try and get them side by side now. Back here. You can totally see the difference. The one on the right isn't an LED screen. Uh, they both have the, uh, what do you call it, um, not the anti-glare screen, but the, wow, the true, I guess true life is what Dell calls it, the true life screen, or Sony has the X-Bright, I think it is, but, you know, basically the gloss, the high gloss screen. This is a 17 inch. 15 inch. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna stop this for a second, and then I'm gonna get the diagnostic test going. I'm now hitting F12. Um, we're gonna do some diagnostic tests. I don't know if you can see that. I'm turn the lamp off here. See that better? Well, that does say diagnostics, just for those who are watching. Before, uh, before I sent it out, I had uh, an error code saying there's an LCD issue. LCD inverter issue. It was like uh, 0326 or something like that. I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. Let's see. I'm going to look it up now, actually, while we're checking this out. Oh! I don't know why they didn't see this. Here it goes. There's the error. LCD inverter unable to turn lamp on. They said they spent days looking at this machine, let it run for hours, running diagnostic tests at the depot, and I don't even get paid to do this, and I've already found an error. So, I don't know who they have on their diagnostic teams. I don't really care, but all I really want is to have my machine replaced. So, and they said they would replace it if I got it back and it was still having errors. So hopefully, we're going to try this out. I'm going to give them a call in a few minutes. I might even just chat with them online. That way I have a, a scripted conversation that I can keep as a log and send it in. But this is just ridiculous. We're going on a month and six days right now. A month and six days since this was shipped to me. I'm going to take a picture of this now, too.